especially recently throughout this year, really, America has experienced a number of different strikes. You might not know about all of them because the media doesn't care at all. But there have been a number of ones, lots of people in a lot of different parts of the country in many different industries trying to fight back against what they see as injustice, injustice in pay, in working conditions, in a number of different things. And we've got a success here for you. New York City cabbies had been engaged in a hunger strike and they have announced that it has been successful. They've struck a deal with the largest holder of taxi loans in the city to help rescue thousands of cabbies who have been crushed under paralyzing debt after years of exploitative practices in the industries. As part of the deal that's now been struck, officials agreed to significantly expand a financial relief program that they'd announced earlier this year that many drivers had criticized as insufficient. And in fact, the city could spend $100 million or more to eliminate hundreds of millions of dollars in debt owned by the drivers. And we wanna give you some of the reactions to the success of this hunger strike. Mayor Bill de Blasio says taxi workers have worked tirelessly to make New York City the most vibrant city in the world. And we refuse to leave them behind. Look, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know behind the scenes what, if anything, Bill de Blasio did. I'll assume something, but I don't know. Anyway, he he wants you to know that he's on the side of them technically. Anyway, um, so uh, Marvelgate will reduce the amount that each cab driver owes to $170,000 from an average of about $500,000 per driver. That is crazy. The payments will be lowered to eleven twenty two a month. In return, the city will give the lender a cash payment of thirty thousand for each driver, and also guarantee every loan. So they're going to be getting more involved in this loan process. Look, to some extent, this is getting technical. I understand that, but different industries have different pressures. This loan situation had obviously been very difficult for the cabbies to deal with. Dan, what do you think about this? I think it's largely good news. Um, that was the New York Times article was reporting an average of 500,000 per driver, but uh, sometimes these drivers could be underwater for a million dollars, and they're competing up against Uber and Lyft um, at a time when, like, yeah, the, their work, business interests were continually prevailing against uh, taxi drivers, and. Um, Hopefully not to like jump the gun here, but a lot of the ways that this happened for people following this is that like uh, the these taxi drivers were promised like this is your way to financial freedom. They were told that like this is better having these tokens which you needed in order to like drive a cab in New York City would be like a better investment than the stock market. And then you get the token and you get the car and you invest in all the maintenance and there's gas and the car breaks down and it gets hit and there's insurance and all these other different things. And then the costs get really really high as well. Yeah. But like I it, it all of that happens and the fact that the um New York City at the time was so involved in letting that happen and letting the prices of those medallions get um, artificially inflated more or less. So it's good, it's very good that you're also seeing here the city of New York is sort of acknowledging the fault that is happening here. But there's so much more to be done. Um, yeah. and, has, and it has to be said that these taxi workers, like they fought so hard and they went on this like hunger strike. It's so insane, it seems. Yeah, I mean, people have been driven to absolute Desperation. This isn't even the only hunger strike that we've seen specifically, and and we'll give you numbers on overall strikes um, in a little bit. But but you're totally right. This is this is sort of a stopgap. In some ways, it's very different. But like there's some overlap with student uh, uh, loan debt cancellation. That is um, you know that is in the pursuit of justice, but it doesn't end the system that has produced all of that debt. All of these are trying to help out people who are at the end of their rope effectively. But they have to be combined with changes to the systems that produced these huge amounts of debt as well. That said, I wanted to give you a response from some of those involved in this. Bhairavi Desai of the Taxi Workers Alliance says drivers will no longer be at risk of losing their homes and no longer be held captive to a debt beyond their lifetime. Although they will still be a lot in debt, so bear that in mind. Um, the uh, the union account for the New York taxi workers uh, tweeted out breaking news, two words, we won, plus three words, thank you NYC, I like that. Um, and they said our earliest champions, they credited AOC um, saying thank you for bringing light to our darkness and the two plus years of work behind the scenes as well as Richie Torres. First as councilman, then as congressman, never gave up on the moral duty to do right by drivers. 
And um, you know, the AOC eventually tweeted, you're bringing it down to the wire with a hunger strike and standing constantly and consistently with our drivers every day, brought this victory home. Um, so that's great, glad politicians can actually deliver. And hopefully, you know, the, the people who will be economically benefited by that will remember this. They'll probably also remember those who didn't help them when they desperately needed it. Any more thoughts? No, that's all for me. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.